when are federal allocation are drops. Are you saying we're going to sacrifice good intentions, good um, programs, programs, referistic program by the government on the platter or on the platform but. of challenges, of problems, of inadequacies? There are inadequacies everywhere. Everywhere. Good intentions. Oh, my family, everybody. No, good, good intentions without economic realities. It's just like you walk in channels and your take home is 100,000. And you tell your wife, darling, by December, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy Range Rover Sport. My wife would know definitely by any part. She That's the truth, know. Nigeria. She have everything. When the president says he cannot pay 42 ministers and he keeps no, telling the government, no, don't miss up issues. No, 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 no. I want to disagree with that. 5,000. Paying 42 ministers. I remember the five. I want to. 152 say billion. Where will the president get it from? 125. 125 billion. We have, we have, our roles are bad. They couldn't afford to pay civil servants. My brother, we shouldn't miss what it. What are we talking about? Even before now, yeah. was there not a time, ordinarily you and I know that some of those ministries shouldn't even exist? Are you saying federal government shouldn't pay this money? I'm not saying that. I'm only saying that you don't make promises without looking at the realistic tendencies of and the And you look at the realistic tendencies now, available to you. Now, do you know the, do you know the game you. going on now? Because... They if I is a game. Oh, it's a game. Uh, look, Olu, Olu, we are young men and we are educated enough to know when they're telling us lies. You know the at situation. At what point do we know that? Is no, it listen. after they have been elected? Yes, after they Or we should know that even right from the point of the campaign. You know, you know uh, what I'm saying? You know, yes, no, after the campaign. Look, if you, you are know, knowing hold that on, hold on, hold on, after the campaigns now, and after now, you have now, voted, Olu, then we are not smart enough. Olu, a lot of, I just told you. People are suffering in Nigeria. A lot of young Thank people you have only are suffered. not to go to hospitals to take care of themselves for medical challenges. He's asking and me so to define the most vulnerable for, and you are just talking and I'm about just the most vulnerable you, people. Those who can't even afford simple things. I'm not telling you. you there are some who can't even afford a single meal a day. How did you identify them? I did when I told you that Nigerians who can't even afford a are single meal a day. Are you the one that created the database for the federal government? You sorry? Murphy, the truth of the matter is that, look, APC got into What's the difference between somebody who can't afford to go to Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold if you can't afford the meal, how do you think about going to the hospital? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, wait, wait, Olu. I'm just, I'm just trying to get your attention. Olu, now listen. This government rolled on the popular mantra of change. Young Nigeria sees an opportunity for them to be part of a government that will cater for them. Yeah. They've seen it globally Doesn't that it is possible, it, it is doable. Mm -hmm. And then they said, like, we're going to do this for you. We're going to do this for you. This era of social media, you know, it was all over. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I would expect that the think tank of this party that came out with this promise would have done their homework, sit back with their, you know, team, and look at the possibilities and the modus operandi of these things, the way it's going to be done. <laughs> And so when they get to government, they can just say, gentlemen, the budget we are running, like has been said, that we went, was not prepared about it. There was no budgetary provision for it. But from 2016 fiscal year, we, we are going to get this thing started. They should have been able to have a clear-cut understanding of the way it's going to be done. At that day, nobody has told us the ministry that will be in charge. Nobody has told us the modality that it will take. Nobody that has told us the can always come through a process. When will it come? Six months after this the government has been The ministers have been Oh, come I on. can't even understand. Murphy, can I ask you this question? Oh, the, the federal government says it's going to phase this um, process 5 million people yearly so that um, the boarding can be well accommodated. You think that's um, a good process? Come again. 5 million out of these 25 million people yearly yeah. so that the burden will not be too huge yearly to take care of this vulnerable Nigeria. You think it's a good strategy? Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Perfect strategy. Perfect. Because, like he has just said, how are they going to? And the house has been answered. A government who has said they're going to take five million yearly. Is that not part of their uh, process? Is that not part of their plans? So much, a government, so much talks, a government that is so already much talks no a, a government that is already reducing cost. Cost you of kept, governance. You, you kept emphasizing in cost. No, because you form. were asking me how are they going to realize these forms. Are you saying all the money they are, they are making now by reduction in parastatas and ministry will strictly go to feeding 25 million vulnerable Nigerians? I have not said that. What happens to education sector? What happens, what happens to the road? What, what happens are, to are housing you, development? Why are you talking this way? Have you forgotten you that the, one, all the, the money, money they are recovering go? has nothing to do with our, our crude oil sales? If any money that can you, can you tell me because what's this, the same? This, the crude oil sales this, will this be are, this year. These are lost. Based on our benchmark, we're still, we're still in good These are lost for us. in good in, condition. In, in, in when the CBN right. governor said, when the US Senate, we're in total economic recession. Have you fully said that? 
the world is all over us in recession. So what are we talking about? What is somehow it? we will survive? That the world is in like recession that is, as the Western world stop paying security. Murphy, I will take you to the Bamika party that says hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but a desire fulfilled is a tree of life. Hope is being deferred. We are pledging. Are as you a, a pastor? I'm not a pastor, but I know God. Okay. So it's important for us as young people, as Most advocates times, of when young people. people want to deceive listen, me, they use the Bible. It's not about the Bible. I didn't even come. This has nothing to do with Murphy, the Bible. What we are saying is that you can't, you can't keep making so promises. It's you. He should be planning to deceive me. I'm not deceiving sorry. you. I'm not telling you that. What are, what? You make promises. We're talking, so we're we're talking about season. Nigeria. I'm not talking. I'm just. We're I'm talking not. about Nigeria. We're talking about when will this our hope, present social when, economic when situation. Murphy, hey, Murphy, you are defending to... the indefensible. No, 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 no. Murphy, you are just let's, let's, let's see what um, I told you. Said from... Let's look at what Nicholas Duri said. He said the most ideal form of social security is uninterrupted power supply, mm -hmm. a viable, um, maybe he's trying to say mining industry and agricultural sector reform. Um, Sam says, oh, oh, oh that, that's, that's flipped over. Please, please stop. Okay, <laughs> that's a really strong word. We can use, we can use those words. Please keep those tweets clean. We we we, we will not accommodate name calling. Please ask the person against President Buhari to tell us how many of uh, the previous government's promises were fulfilled. I'm not a spokesperson of the previous government, but I know that at some point I was announced chairman during my time as a student engineer leader. And at some point, I was a special assistant of youth affairs. I will use Ogun State as a template. There was a program called Ogun Grad, Ogun Graduate Employment Scheme. It was like Did it succeed very much how successful. Many and I'll been, tell you why. How many people have been employed from that? Were employed. Lots of people. And as at, 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 at the time, at the time the government expired, about twenty-three thousand were employed. Yeah, so some of them. let me tell you the way the difference between this government and that government. No, we're not comparing governments. No, we're, we're not looking at this type of. Government has promised to pay this. I'm How just saying, is this? We you should be able to government. define and know the situation. Every government is promises. unique. Every government is unique. And so the uniqueness of this government is that they make promises without knowing Murphy, the economic implications. Can I ask you, based on the four years plan, as it were, okay, no, this should spill over five years because five million by 25 will be five. So, but for the yearly uh, um, five million people, you think somewhere, somehow, government will be able to get funds here, get funds there to help this 5,000, because it's very important to make sure that these people who are vulnerable get some level of support and can earn the confidence of, uh, they can earn the confidence of their, the government in place. The government is already diversifying the economy. The government is already trying to promote agriculture. Mm. And let us not even forget the fact that uh, there is the economic value to this program. There are those Nigerians who need just a thousand, two thousand, three thousand naira to start up a business. There are people who are looking for just two thousand naira to start up pure water business. Mm. There are those who are looking for just two, three thousand naira to start up a tomato business somewhere. And you tell me if they're having five thousand naira monthly, it won't go a long way for them? Murphy, I'm in total and absolute support of anything that will create soccer or give soccer. To and, that, and that you support this so program I'm not, what I'm against, the government. What I'm against, Olu, what I'm against is the fact that you don't make promises without looking at the economic realities. My point. My brother, my oh, brother, oh, let, oh. Let, let, let us, you see, I, I don't like a situation where we talk as if we are from the moon. We're not from the moon. We are we're talking Nigeria. as Nigerians. Look, on my way here, maybe I would have told the, the program uh, organizer that I would be here earlier. But on the road, there was traffic everywhere. And I got here earlier. How would I have known? A government, as at the time of campaign, didn't know. Because I, if I may say, as at the time this APC were, were doing their campaign, the previous government, especially the former minister of, uh, uh, the uh, coordinator of the economy, um, Professor Okonjoi Wela, keep promising and keep telling Nigeria that the economy was good, that the economy was booming. I still want to contest the so fact if, that... So if, if APC had gone ahead to make a promise based on that, I mean, are you blaming APC? Would that blaming the previous government brother, that are giving false I'm information? Not, I'm not talking about party here. I'm talking about the economy. You can reality. talk about I'm the economy promising. of Nigeria without talking about the politicians okay. and the party. Okay, if that's the truth, then why would the APC senators 
voted, they voted against this position. I was trying to correct you on that. They didn't vote against, against it. The urgency that the PDP senators were trying to bring in was what they objected. They should have put the they clarity did, to it. They said no. That is not an issue that should be at the forefront for now. Why, why are you saying youth unemployment? What you do if I make a promise? Poverty should not you you shouldn't be the one to remind me Olu, to fulfill my Olu, promise. Olu, I Olu, know my promise. Olu, Olu, I voted for you. Are you saying and those Philippine senators didn't Mo make promises Mofi, during their campaign? Mofi, it is not for the electorate to challenge them. Nigeria, the same idea of Mofi, Nigerians, Mofi, you wish... can't hold your counselor accountable. You want to hold the federal government accountable at all times. Why not? And it has not really helped us. Are you saying, Lucy, Murphy, a government, like I keep saying, represents collective aspiration of the mass of the people. The mass of Nigerians are the young people. Agile, intelligent, some educated, very ready to work, energetic. And you have given them, you've just said it, 2,000 can help them. 3,000 can Hold. help them. Hold. And I'm saying as a young... But you said earlier that what can 5,000 that do for an average you? No, 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 no. I'm no, just saying that you know what? You know that what? money can be channeled appropriately. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I'm going to give you... Um, 20 seconds uninterrupted talk to round off on this issue. Oh my God. Nobody's going to interrupt you. Nobody's going to interrupt you. 20 seconds on it, I'm going to stop you. The time starts now. Well, um, my appeal to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, General Muhammad Buhari, and APC as a party, is to realize that those who make promises without fulfilling are truly working against God. The young Nigerians have voted for them. They should sit back, realize that the young people are suffering. What they need to do is to sit back, get back to business, look at the realities on ground, and do the needful. Thank you this very much. This must be met. Thank you. Murphy, comrade. Murphy, comrade Murphy. I will uh, use this opportunity to talk to Nigerians. We must learn to carry our government along. As much as the government is willing to carry, you must try to understand where the government is coming from. This is a government that has said, we are going to do this. Why are we in a hurry? You said here that the ministers have just been sworn in today. I don't think if it will make much sense. Of course, I trust Nigerians. Much, of, much of Nigerians are not complaining. So we should be patient and watch the system. Patience is the word. Appeal is the word. Everyone wants this to happen. Yes. Everyone wants to see this happen. And the hope here is that it will happen. It will. And Nigeria will be one of these countries where social security is being paid to those who are actually very vulnerable in the society. That's been our program tonight on Face Off. Join us again next week. Good night.